Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Saturday content today, the content drop just happened a couple minutes ago. I want to talk about the content that came out and what is happening on the market at this time. Because again, as we expected, a lot of these French cards are going down. We have two new SBCs today. The first one is this Adair, which I think EA Sports is a W. 81 and 84 rated squads for this Portuguese striker Adair, who of course is uh, remembered and memorable for his 2016 performance um, in the Euros. I do remember watching that. I'm not a fake fan. Anyways, four star, four star, six three. Uh, a decent looking card, but it's cheap, right? No traits, just a fun one. Honestly, pretty cheap 93 rated card that you could snag for some fodder as well. And again, the other SBC that came out today, it's just now looking like EA is going to, for this next few days or this week, they're going to try to keep the game exciting, try to keep the game fun with the casino pack content. And that is the other SBC that we had today. And I have to go to the back here because I just completed it. It is the TOTS or PTG player pick. Now, obviously, we had no idea this was coming because player picks like this do not have to be added to the code. They just get dropped in the game whenever. So, 85 rated squad with 35 chemistry, another gambling type pack, if you will. But this is the type of content that we've been expecting, right? It comes out at this stage of the game. And I'm wondering how it's going to affect PTG prices. We'll take a look at that and, of course, take a look at the rest of the market in a sec. But let's open this thing, man. I think a lot of people are going to do this today. Fodder is going to be shooting up. I think I want PTGs out of this. EA Sports is who we want. Cancelo. Oh, Nani. That's not bad. That is not bad. All right. So Cancelo, not so good. Gomis, not so good. So three team of the season options in my player pick. Interesting. But I will take Nani as a super sub. Maybe um, if there's ever a Portuguese requirement for the weekend league, I could use Adair and Nani together. But that's a nice super sub to have the five star, five star. I will take that. I will take that EA Sports. Now, I'm curious to see how the rest of these are playing out. Let me know down in the comments what you guys got from that SBC if you did do it. But a couple things are happening because of this content that is coming out today. Of course, you're going to see some 85s, 86s. I mean, they're going to go up even higher. Now, this is a low chemistry SBC. So it's probably, you know, all of the 86s are moving. All the 85s are moving. It's not just... Um, you know, a certain, the high chem 84s, 85s, they're really not going up or down that much because it's mostly just all of them in general. We have low chemistry SBCs like this. You're seeing these cards go up. 86 is 26, 27,000 coins for these. Wow. That is up a lot. Now I bet your 84s are going to do the business today as well. They're probably going to shoot up in price uh, because people, wow, how much are 85s right now? Are you serious? 20K. No shot, dude. Is Mertens, what is this? Uh, hello? What in the world is, is Mertens extinct? Yo, what are the price ranges on these cards? Um, what are the price ranges on some of these 85? Mertens price range is 19K. Oh my gosh, bro. These cards are going extinct right now. These 85s are going extinct because EA dropped these price ranges a couple weeks ago. And now 85s are literally going extinct at 19K. That's insane. That's mental. So people are going to have to use 84s, which I believe some of the 84s have price ranges at 10K. 11k for Callejon. Some of these 84s are probably going to be extinct. That's wild, man. That is wild. EA, you updated these price ranges down uh, in the past couple weeks, and now these cards. Let me check Sirigu. Let me check Sirigu. Wow, man. How is the fodder going to go higher this week if these cards are literally extinct on the market? That Mertens kind of surprised me. How much is uh? Is this guy extinct, bro? Look at 10k. He's he's literally at max price. No way. That is insane. So again. The SBC fodder demand and the demand for these SBCs that they're putting out is taking over and taking control of this game right now. I don't know why EA put those price ranges down if they knew they were going to be uh, pushing fodder up uh, with these SBCs that were coming out. So again, people go crazy for those packs, right? People go crazy for those PTG, the player picks. And this is a brand new one that we've never seen before. So of course, people are going to be going after it today. Now I want to see what it's coming in at on footbin. 159,000 coins is the price point. But again, I bet if you look at some of these SBC completed challenge squads, um, it's actually probably a little bit less than 150k. Somebody's trying to, you know, use their Marata investment in here to, to plug that and make some sales. But I mean, this might be how you have to do the SBC with one really high rated card. Uh, I bet informs, I bet informs and Todd's cards are back up. Team of the seasons were down. Um, they were down for sure. Some of these 87 TOTS cards with 37,000 coins, I bet these are up. I think they have a max price of like, yeah, 55K. But we've had a couple days in a row now where there's been no 
uh, you know, TOTS requirements in SBCs. And now with the team of the season requirements coming back, I bet this Fiatchenko card is uh, like high 40s, maybe even 50K. Yeah, man, no way. Is he extinct? He is extinct. So again, this is the type of gambling player pick SBC that everybody's going to want to do. And since those price ranges are at the place where they're at, that's just, that's on EA. It's on EA that those, that stuff is going extinct. So if you're really trying to grind it, I guess you could craft that SBC or the Adair SBC from the 82 to 88 upgrade. Um, but yeah, that is the content today on FIFA. And SBC, I don't think many people are going to be interested in this Adair. Not too many. Let's take the take a look at the thumbs up, thumbs down, and flip in. I think the biggest W with this, did they upgrade his weak foot and skills? They upgraded his skill moves. He's four-star, four-star. But like, this is the type of card we have to be seeing in this game. I like that EA is releasing a 93-rated card with a lot of stats in the 90s. That's just that's just the meta. That's the curve. That's where it has to be at right now in this game. So I'm a big fan of that coming out. And I think this is a decent SBC. It's really cheap. Um, I bet it's actually you know cheaper than 100K, although 84s are probably going to be extinct. So it might be hard to do an 84-rated SBC as a part of Adair. So... That is very interesting. Now, you're also probably going to see a little bit of panic selling on the rest of this market today due to that SBC. You might see some of these cards dropping down a little bit. Now, I'm closely watching Verratti because Italy play in the next couple of hours. And if they do win, that will mean another upgrade will be coming for him. Now, a lot of the cards that got upgraded last night, we were talking about this in last night's video. Whoa, Joao Felix at 312,000 coins. Is that a panic sell because of Adair? Interesting. Interesting. You know, I'm going to have to go take a look at this because Joao Felix was, uh, he was a solid 350K this morning. And I feel like this might be something where, you know, Portugal is playing in a few days. And I think uh, if if this gets to a point where it's too low for me, 310, 311, um, 320. Wow, that's kind of crazy. So a bit of panic selling on some of the PTGs. Let's see if we can find any more cards that are down right now. It looks like, um, it looks like Pogba might be down a little bit. Pogba was like in the 1-3s. Looks like right now he's in the 1-2 lows. Um, maybe some panic on the Tots cards as well. Because Yeah, look at this. Some undercutting, man. That's actually crazy. People are selling some of these Team of the Seasons uh, or these PTG cards because of that SBC that came out today. Now, I'm going to really watch this Verratti. If this dips again more today, I got this at 480 yesterday. If this were to go under 500 again, I'd be seriously watching that because I think they could win today and that card would have some more hype coming for it. Now, one thing you noticed out of my player pick was I had all team of the season cards. So I'm wondering if any of these tots are going to be sold off. But speaking of tots being sold off, a lot of them are just down so much. Take a look at this class, man. We talked about this last night that a lot of people would be selling off their French cards that they used in the weekend league. And that is the case. Look at this. Look at the sell off, bro. This guy was 150K at his peak. 176 on Friday morning, Thursday night. And even in the past, you know, 12 hours, he's gone from 142,000 coins down to 88K. So a huge drop off in price on some of these cards. The French nation, I mean, look at Neymar, 7.7 .7 mil. That's down a lot. And Mbappe's 4.2. You're just seeing a lot of crashing and a lot of prices dipping on the market because of this. Your fodder tots, again, are going up and your uh, fodder on the market's basically extinct too. So I think today might be an opportunity um, to maybe find some cards that you think are really rare if there's too much panic selling on them. Like, I'd really watch the Path to Glories. I think if there's any panic selling today, like that Joao Felix, that kind of interested me right away. I feel like that's a card that could rebound. Um, Militao was was 500,000 coins. Maybe some of the games that are happening tomorrow um, or the cards that just got upgraded. Uh, like this Joao Felix, man. I mean, that's, you know, you have the Adair SBC, but I really don't think people in this game are going to be selling Joao Felix to go do the Adair and replace him in their team. So if I see one of these at like 310, I literally might have to pull the trigger because he was, he was 350 this morning. It looks like it's just a bunch of panic selling on this card right now. So yeah, if I see 310 on this, I'm definitely going to pull the trigger because I think that is too low and I think he could come back up. Absolutely. But again, a lot of the PTG cards that got upgraded, this is where I was going. A lot of these PTG cards, they went up a little bit last night, right? Especially the hyped ones. Militao went from 420 to 500K. Wijnaldum was like 330, 340. Hazard's up like 40,000 coins. Firmino had the biggest boost. He went from like 1.4. He's now at 1.7. Huge boost in price on that card with the upgrade. Vinicius is the same. Um, he's not moved. Who else got upgraded from Team 1? Thorgan Hazard is 181, so he's actually gone down a little bit. But... The upgrades did move the market a decent amount. So again, what you can expect today is 
I would 100% be looking around the market for panic selling. You know, maybe on some of these French cards too, right? Like Baku, 280, that's really low. Coman, 293. That's Goretzka is so low right now. So I think some of these cards you might see bounce back up just based off of rarity a little bit. Like my Varane, I sold this Varane yesterday at 2.2 mil, and right now he is down at 1.73. So a crazy drop on that card. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little difficult to trade in this market. I won't lie, but once you see huge huge undercuts, um, and then you know. You see that card get rare later on tonight. I think you will see some of the prices bounce back. Also, what I'd take a look at are French icons. French icons for sure would be a corner of the market that I would keep my eyes on in open bids, especially um, like this Zidane. I mean, look at how long he's down 800,000 coins after being well over 900K at some point on the weekend. This Desai moments was like 620,000 coins. He is now down in the low 500. So again, with the content coming out today as well, um, and that SBC, the PTG, and Tots player pick that everybody's going to want to go and do, I think you're going to continue to see some panic selling on the market. It's going to be, it's going to be a day where a lot of prices continue to go down later into tonight. So probably tonight we'll talk about what could happen tomorrow on Sunday, and maybe some of these PTG card price movements. But really, what I would watch out for, like I love trading this Griezmann, man. I love trading this Griezmann. So if you see this at like you know one. I hate to say 1-3 or 1-4, but I mean, it's very possible he could get down there. Same thing with Havertz, like 1-3, 1-4. These cards are so rare and people are still trying them out. They're having fun with them, giving them a shot in the weekend league uh, that it's a great time to be trading with them on this market and on this game. I think the craziest thing to me is that SBC fodder is extinct. SBC fodder is extinct. No way. That is the, that's the thing that is nuts to me. Um... And I'm seeing some people on Twitter that are packing some really good stuff in these. Here's here's a picture right here of somebody getting Griezmann and and uh, in their player pick. Like that's the kind of player pick that you want today. And and everybody's gonna be all about this, right? Let's check a couple more 85s. Is like Gulashi or Ziyech extinct? Is Ziyech extinct on this game? His gold card, 18k, not quite. Um, but it looks like he's actually kind of close to it. What is his price range? Actually, you know what? He might be extinct. No, not quite. Ziyech's price range is 18,000 coins and he is almost there. Wow, man. Crazy, 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 crazy. So again, this market has a lot of coins and EA are draining those coins from it because they are putting out this, uh, what do we call it? The, the pack content that everybody wants to do, the casino pack content. So that's the video for today, boys. I do think you're going to see the market continue to drop off. I'm going to try out my nine in the weekend league. I am seven and three, I think seven and three at the moment. Uh, six and three. So I need one more win to get my player pick on the road to 15, hopefully uh, this weekend. So that's the video. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below what you got in your player pick. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.